In this video, I want to go ahead and take a look at the updated selector highlights that we get with Unity 5.5. When we select something in our scene, we get this orange outline. And I did not like it. If you watch the line renderer and the trail renderer videos, I did not really like this because I like to see the mesh as well sometimes. But that's actually easily fixed. If we come up to gizmos, we can go ahead and pick the selection wire. And now you can go ahead and actually see the wireframe. And of course, if you want to select, well, if we take a look here, we notice that we have the whole car selected. If you want to drill down, now I can just double click on something. So I got the tire there. If I want to grab this tire, I select once. It's going to grab the whatever's on the parent. I select again, we go down into the tire. Same thing for the body of the car. I like this feature. It might have been there before, but with the highlighted selection, the orange part going around it, I actually notice it more. Now, another thing is this orange color. Uh, I don't know of anyone that has any sort of orange color blindness, but maybe you just don't like that color. You can actually change this by coming up to the preferences, coming down to colors, and the selected outline. We can go ahead and change that. Uh, let's, let's do a red. And pick whatever color you like. Now, I'm not sure if this will work in the free version, as it's been a long time since I've, I've been on the free version, and I'm not sure if you actually have the ability to change the colors. If you can't, well, you're stuck with orange, but at least you can turn on the wireframe. And then again, I just wanted to look at one more thing in this video, and that was the trail render. Remember I said I did not like not having the wireframe? And this is the difference. You can actually see it already. So now I can see all the individual triangles in my trail renderer. But zoom in too close. My background's a little dark. It's a horrible texture. I should have picked something less transparent. But anyway, you can actually see them now. So you can actually tell exactly what's going on versus before we can't see anything. Anyway, I just want to get this video out there in case someone actually wants to be able to turn on those wireframes or change the color. So what do you think of the new selection highlight? I personally didn't really care for it at first, but to be honest, I think it's going to grow on me. Again, it's another one of those things that's not taking anything away, so it's really not going to disrupt my workflow any. Anyway, let me know down below in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.